Hey guys, Scott Wiggins from the RecordingSolution.com. Today I want to talk to you talk to you about I think the most important thing you can do when you first start a mix before you do anything, before you add plugins, before you do anything. Um, some people call it the static mix, the gut mix, um, all kinds of different things. But what they're talking about is just using your volume faders, which is these right here. That's grouped right now, so it's all of them. Ungroup that. So all these volume faders and just the pan knobs because if you can get the balance with volume and panning with all your tracks before you add any eq or compression then you're going to start in the most optimal place in your mix where you need to start adding eq and compression so you don't want to start adding adding eq and compression if maybe your tracks are not at the right volume because sometimes you might just need to turn things up or turn things down and that might solve the issue so if you can get the balance correct or as good as you can get it and you do all the work possible to get a good balance with volume faders and pan knobs and you can't do it anymore and you're you're getting to a point where you're hitting a wall and you can't make it sound better then you need to start thinking about eq and then compression so you if you do this you're setting yourself up for success and an easier mix. So what I do, sometimes I spend five minutes like this, sometimes I spend 10, 20, even 30 minutes just tweaking stuff before I even touch anything else. So this was a mix inside our uh, Recording Solution Pro membership. Um, we're starting, I don't know what month we're on, but uh, this is what I would do in the first part of this mix that we're te teaching our subscribers. And I'm going to show you exactly what I do and what I'm talking about. So I'm going to hit play. It's all over the place. Everything's muddy. And we're just going to mess with volume and get things kind of balanced. So I'm going to, I'm going to go for time's sake and just move really fast. So here's what I'm talking about. Everything's a little loud. Group these drums real fast so I can turn them up all at one time. Leaving this road that I'll pay. Then 
side of hell Not sure where I'm really headed But it's time for me to say farewell I got a broken heart and a weakened mind As far as I know nothing's gonna ride Yeah, I'm changing lanes to the next town Changing kick in here has a little bit more uh, snap to it so I'm blending the kick in mic compared to the kick out mic, out mic and get a little more snap inside the mix in my head she still sits one bottle down what else can I find this broken heart is forever mine yeah I'm changing lanes to the next town I'm changing lanes. Yeah, it is. I'm changing lanes. I'm changing lanes. On a day, I'm changing lanes. Yeah, it is. little fiddle thing there. I'm changing Stabs here.
So y'all get the drift. Uh, you're just balancing things out, volume, panning, and just sit here and mess with it, listen things over and over again, and just get this thing as balanced as you can with, with volume faders and panning knobs. And I didn't even do these drum overheads here, but put them out here, get those stereo. Let's solo those up. So already night and day from when we first started, you're starting to hear things more clearly. Uh, just get it to where it's grooving. And when you get it sounding rocking and you're grooving and you haven't done anything with EQ or compression, then it's time to just add those little subtle moves with EQ to make things a little bit more audible, clear things up, add compression for energy, and just make it make it pop like a real mix. So before on your next mix, before you start adding all these plugins and reverbs and EQ and compression and all these tricks that you've learned, just spend some time balancing the faders and the pan knobs out okay and you can even go as far as automating the volume like on pro tools let me find it here uh, clip it is clip gain line right here so what that did see this black line right here in the middle the, the dark black line in Pro Tools, you can automate the volume here. You can add little dots and automate the volume. This is the actual waveform before it hits the fader here. So this is what's it's pretty much the volume of the waveform, not the volume fader now. If that makes sense, it's the actual like pre fader volume. And you can actually go in there and do some automation before you even add compression because compression you pretty much want things to like poke out and sound more audible and energy well you can do that right here before you add any plugins okay a lot of people do that um you can do vocal rides before you do any kind of any kind of compression and just and make the compression compressor have to less uh, work less once you actually add the the compressor on the vocal so if you can get the vocals to to be at the optimal levels on every part of the verse and chorus then your compression was won't have to work so hard later on in the mix so Something to think about. Try it on your next mix. Uh, please hit subscribe if you like the video. Um, there'll be some things you can click on to get some free tools. There's a free ebook. There's a free EQ chart. We got some compression things coming later. You'll be able, you'll be added to the email list where you will get all kinds of cool videos and things that I don't share with everybody. But you'll stay up to date with everything in the recording solution. You're gonna join a great growing tribe of people that are really cool people to hang out with and. Um, it's growing every day. Uh, you get to learn all kinds of stuff. Everything I know I teach, I throw it right here on the email list and YouTube and everything. So hit subscribe, uh, share it with a friend, comment, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Scott from the recordingsolution.com. See you on the other side. <laughs>